Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and today I'm going to show you how to install Recallbox on your Raspberry Pi. If you don't already know, Recallbox is an emulator allowing you to play all sorts of games with ease and to use it as a media center. It supports NES, Mega Drive, PlayStation and other 32-bit platforms as well as Nintendo 64. And in this video I'm going to show you how to install it. In order to get Recallbox up and running on your Raspberry Pi, you'll need a Raspberry Pi 4, a microSD card, I recommend using at least a 16GB one, a power supply, a micro HDMI to HDMI cable, as well as some sort of input device. I'll be using this Xbox One controller, but you can also use a simple keyboard. For the installation, you'll need to switch to your PC and download the Recallbox image by clicking on the first link in the description below. Then head to Downloads and select the platform slash architecture you're using. In my case, the Raspberry Pi 4. While it's downloading, go and install an SD card flasher. In my case, the Balena Etcher flasher by clicking on the second link in the description below or by visiting balena.io slash etcher. Once you've downloaded and installed both, open up the flash and select the ISO file as well as the microSD card that you'll be flashing it onto. Personally, I'm using a 64GB one. And click on flash. As soon as it's done flashing, remove the microSD card from your PC and plug it into your Pi. Just give it some time to boot. And don't worry, only the first boot will take this long. As you can see, the Pi is successfully booted up and you can now use the OS and start playing some of the pre-installed games. However, if you want to add a few of your own games, you'll have to switch back to your PC. But before you do that, make sure to properly shut down Recallbox by pressing start on your controller and selecting Shutdown System. Then remove the microSD card from your Pi and plug it into your PC. Now open up the file explorer and access the share folder on your microSD card. If the share folder doesn't show up, you'll have to plug the microSD card out of your PC and back into your Pi, boot it up and connect to the internet. Then under quick access type double backslash recall box and you should be able to access the share folder over network. To transfer your games head to ROMs and copy your games into the corresponding folder. For the sake of this video I'm quickly going to copy some of my games starting with Mega Drive. After you've transferred your games, eject the micro SD card, plug it out of your PC and back into your Pi. After booting up your Pi, the newly added game should show up and you can start playing them. Note that you have to be connected to the internet to play some of them. You'll find the option to do so in the menu under Network. You'll also find the option to scrape your games in the menu under Scraper. Here you'll be able to select each game you want to scrape. But apart from that, that will be it for today. I hope I helped you out and you enjoyed the video. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see straight to the point tech related videos and tutorials just like this in the future, you're welcome to subscribe. See you in the next one.